Let's look at some test footage from the Sony FX6 to start a Cinetone. And this is me just basically running around with the camera, trying to get footage of uh, our beagles. It's a mix of low and high bass ISO. And I left the camera at F4. I was using autofocus, relying basically totally on that and had the auto ND on to essentially account for exposure. There's no color correction or grading on any of this. This is just the footage as it came straight out of the camera. And it's a mix of 60p shot in normal mode and 120p shot in slow and quick mode. All of it in a 24p timeline slowed down. And I think S-Cinetone looks absolutely fantastic. The colors look beautiful. It looks nice and rich and saturated. And uh, the autofocus and auto ND, I think, did a really great job getting the beagles and moving pretty quickly, too, and focusing from one to the other. Auto ND did a really nice job maintaining exposure. In a few instances, like here, it's a little darker maybe than would be ideal. It was starting to get dark in the park where we were. But a little bit of color grading, a little correction would fix that without any problem. And I think it still looks okay like this, especially if I wanted to convey what the light actually looked like. But for straight out of the camera, it looks fantastic. Slow-mo looks fantastic too. It's really nice to have a camera that does slow-mo that essentially looks just as good as any of the normal modes. Code was very excited about chasing after a rabbit he saw and then was covered in burrs, picking some burrs off right now. But if you, again, look at the colors, looks great. This, again, another shot I would pull up a little bit, but no need to just to show straight out of camera. The next part is exposure latitude shooting in Cine EI. The lens here was a Sigma 18 to 35. It's not a full frame lens, but at 35, it more or less covers the sensor some vignetting in the corners but i needed something that was fast that i could control with the app and this was it and i used alistair's excellent venice look luts to bring exposure back and correct the footage those luts aren't meant for the fx6 they really were designed for fs7 fs5 and whatnot but i think they do a great job with this footage and there's no other lut set that i'm aware of that corrects exposure so consistently so here's base exposure, exposing for the white sheet at about 61% per Sony's recommended levels when using S-Log3. To me, that always looks a little underexposed, but we'll go through and see how it does. This is low base ISO, 800 ISO in Cine EI, and image is already pretty clean at base, but as you'll see, plus one, plus two, it's even cleaner, but you don't need to overexpose like you did with the FS5 and even the FS7 to get a clean image. Three stops over, it's starting to blow out in the highlights a little bit, but the important areas, my skin, the shirt, still look fine. You are seeing some moiré in the sweatshirt, which isn't great, but at four stops over, the areas that are important are still coming back without a problem. And even four and a third stop over, and in my opinion, the important stuff, the subject still looks good. Under exposure, I used a quarter ND to get it as dark as I wanted to go four stops under. Here's base. Again, this looks a tiny bit dark to me, but that's what the official exposure levels are. One stop under, still looks okay. Two stops under. And it still looks okay to me. We're gonna get a little noise, but that's unavoidable. And already this is much better than with the FS5 or the FS7. FS5 was noisy at base and approaching unusable past one stop under. Three stops under here, it's noisy, but I think that would clean up nicely and it's still usable in my view. Four stops under, it is much noisier, but still usable, you still have color, the colors still look okay. Here's high base ISO. 1 16th ND to uh, bring the exposure down essentially. Base, pretty decent, still a little noisy, plus one. Yeah, it's noisier than low base ISO, but not terrible in my opinion. And by two stops over, most of that noise I think has disappeared. The image still looks fantastic and it's still holding up at two stops over. And obviously the highlights are blowing out like it was in base ISO by three stops over, maybe even two stops over. But the important areas are still well exposed and still look good. Four stops over, you'll see it's the same situation. 
everything's still recoverable that you would want to recover, as is the case with four and a third stops over. Going for underexposure. Again, base exposure. You can see a little bit of noise in the shadow areas, but not terrible. One stop under. It's obviously going, I mean, it just starts out noisier. It's going to be noisier. Two stops under. Still, in my view, usable, getting noisy. You could clean this up with some noise reduction software. I didn't bother. The noise does look less fixed to me. So three stops under is noisier, obviously, than the low base ISO, but it doesn't look like the sort of fixed pattern noise you see with low base ISO. Four stops under, it's hunting for focus. I was using autofocus here. That was the other thing or reason why I wanted to use this lens. Here's low and high side by side at three stops under. Three stops under and low is much cleaner. Three stops under and high, again, I think it's still usable. Four stops under, the noise looks more fixed in low. It looks more random in high. Neither is amazing maybe, but I think in a pinch you could get by with it if you had to, certainly in low base ISO. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed checking out this footage. Thanks for watching.